suppose i have some uh, more three counter okay so suppose i have one more three counter and i'm passing it through a more two counter so what will be the resultant mode of this one so suppose i have a uh, two counters having mode n1 and n2 so the resultant count resultant mode yeah let me write it m1 m2 so suppose i have a uh, two counters having mode m1 and mode m2 and i have just cascaded it like the output of the first counter first counter is connected to the uh, the clock of the second counter and so on so if it is like that what does it means the total mode that is possible is m1 into m2 okay so suppose i have a counter having mode three counter and mode two counter so the mode of this counter is nothing but 3 into 2 and that means the mode 6 counter so this is nothing but this is the mode 6 counter that has been designed with the help of mode 3 and the mode 2 counter okay so similarly let us try to check it out whether really it is acting as a mode 6 counter or not so let us try to validate with some uh, timing diagrams okay suppose i have uh, the clock pulse okay so all the flip flops are the negative h trigger if you can see here okay all the flip flops are negative h trigger and uh, if the negative h will come so this a0 will change its state okay a0 is going to change its state and another thing is like because the more 3 counter which we have here this is the synchronous one more 3 counter which we have here is the synchronous one because the clock pulse for both the flip flops are controlled with the same clock okay so this is how it could done now because this is a synchronous one and once this negative clock pulse will come this a0 will change its state from 0 to 1 okay but this a0 is nothing but initially a0 was 0 okay a0 was 0 so uh, this what about a1 a1 will be like because see uh, here the k is preset to 1 so it initially it was preset so this a0 will act as a input in the next clock pulse so when it will come to 0 so 0 this a, a, yeah so uh, this will wait up to this one so 0 0 0 and one in the next clock pulse it will change its logic and a1 uh, because once this a1 will be one like once this j will be set then it will change its state okay so let me explain it again what i am saying here during the first falling pulse falling uh, triggering one this triggering one a0 will change its state from 0 to 1 okay and because here the k was set to 1 okay because k was set to 1 so to make it uh, because it was reset the output was reset a1 was reset to G, uh, reset to 1 once this a0 will be set to 1 and this will act as a input for this one so once this is high and the next clock pulse will come the a1 will change its state from 0 to 1 okay so 0 to 1 it will come so the uh, the actual state will be like uh, 0 0 and 0 1 this is for a1 and a0 next state 1 0 will come out so this is the counter what the mod 3 counter we can make it the next one is like uh, if we simply see here 0 0 0 a 0 0 0 yeah this is the 0 0 0 1 1 0 and then 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 0 0 and so on so a0 and a1 will give you the output something like this one the pattern will be like 0 0 0 1 1 0 then 0 0 and so on okay now if you see here this output yeah the controllability of this mode 2 counter depends on the output which is the a1 so once this a1 will be in the falling pulse or or it will be in the falling pulse then the a2 will be reflected okay so the a2 will change its state once 
this a1 will be in the falling state so the a1 is uh, is at uh, is in the falling state at this point and if it is at this point a2 initially was zero then it will change its state from zero to one okay and then again it will change its state when the a1 is having the falling state because the clock pulse of this mode two counter depends on the a1 okay the one when the next fall, falling pulse on the a1 will come the a2 will again uh, uh, change its state and that will become 0 0 0 so now if we try to calculate a total sequence then then the sequences are uh, let us start from a2 a1 and a0 so it is yeah a2 a1 and a0 so initially it is 0 0 0 then 0 0 1 yeah, this is the 0, 0, 1, then 0, 1, 0, then it is coming like 0, 1, 0, then 1, 0, 0, then 1, 0, 1, then 1, 1, 0, and the next one is 0, 0, 0. So the total number of stages which are possible here are 6. 6 uh, uh, different uh, stages are possible. So that is how we can call it. It is the mode 6 counter. Now, it is really very important to understand here is whatever the outputs we are getting here, let us try to see. This is equivalent to 0. This is equivalent to 1. This is equivalent to 2. This is equivalent to 4. This is equivalent to 5. This is equivalent to 6 and then 0. So if you see the operation of this counter is nothing but this is from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 4, then 4 to 5, 5 to 6, and then 6 to 0. So this is the sequence uh, which this counter is following. Okay. So this is all about how we can cascade the counter. So cascading is of the counter is really very important. So if you have any doubt, anyone has any doubt at this point, you can ask the questions. So how we can cascade it? This is the way how we can cascade the counters. Okay. So uh, if there is no questions, then uh, we can move ahead. Yeah, there is one tutorial questions like uh, uh, draw the timing diagram of the given cascaded counter. And uh, this is what you have to do at home. Yeah. Again, if you see here, uh, mod 2 and mod 3 is there. So the total mod will be like the model uh, modulo will be 6 only. But what sequence it will follow? So if it's if you see in the previous diagram, in this diagram, the sequence was 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. But this is not mandatory that the sequence will be same. Okay. In the next one, but what is the difference between these two ones? Uh, here, I have a synchronous counter, which is the mode 3, and one asynchronous, which is the mode 2. Okay. So this is what we are cascading. In the next one, I have a mode 2. And I'm adding one synchronous counter. I have just interchanged it. Okay. Based on that, I am expecting that uh, like you have to tell me like what is the sequence that this counter is going to follow. Of course, the mod mod will be six. There is no problem with the mod. Mod will be six only. But what sequence it will follow that you have to check it out. It is not same as before. Okay, mod is the different phenomena. Mod indicates like how many stages it is going uh, to execute, like how many different possibilities are there. That indicates the modulus. But what those sequences are, that is depends on the circuitry, on the circuit structure. Okay, so in the previous one, it was again mod 6. This is also mod 6, but the sequence can be different in both the, both the circuits. Okay, so this is what you should understand and you have to check it out whether what is the modulus of this one okay so this is all about cascading the
counter. If you have any doubt at this point, you can ask the questions. Okay. Anyone has any doubt? Okay, so if there is no doubt, then uh, we can, okay, but we do not have that much time uh, to start a new topic. So, yeah, we'll start in the next class, no problem. We'll continue the same thing in the next lecture. So in the next lecture, we'll talk about uh, self-controlling, uh, self-correcting counters. Like suppose I want to miss some of the countings, uh, or I want to make some of the invalid states. So this kind of things we will discuss in the next lecture. Okay. Some of the things we have, which we have already done, but uh, we'll try to elaborate all those things uh, in detail later on.